I'm Nathaniel Vinton from the New York Daily News Sports Investigations team. Uh, for the last several months, we've been working on an investigation of uh, Red Bull energy drinks, and particularly a clinic outside Salzburg, Austria, that uh, is home to a man named Bernd Ponzold. Bernd Ponzold is a 71-year-old German. He was convicted of crimes related to doping in the former East German regime. Um, this is a familiar story to a lot of sports fans. The, the East Germans were doping young athletes in the 1970s and 80s for the Olympics and often the, uh, in fact, almost always the athletes weren't informed that they were being doped um, and girls as young as 13 in, in Baron Ponzold's case were victims of this uh, system. Um, Baron Ponzold works at a clinic called the Diagnostics and Training Center just outside Salzburg, Austria, and uh, hundreds of athletes sponsored by Red Bull have gone to see him there. He, he uh, works with them on, their, on maximizing their fitness. He's a, a sort of high-performance expert. Lindsey Vaughn has been sponsored by Red Bull since 2005. It's her primary sponsor, and she has gone to see uh, gone to Ponzold's facility to work out and um, he, he told me that she goes there once or twice a year. Uh, we didn't find any evidence that Lindsey Vaughn has ever doped and uh, we're, our story has explored uh, just the remarkable fact that uh, she's even had contact with someone like this. Um, Ponzold was convicted of crimes in 1998 and later found a job working with some Austrian downhill skiers and uh, when his role in the East German atrocities emerged publicly, uh, the Austrian team put a lot of distance between themselves and Dr. Ponzold. Um, it was around that time that Ponzold was recruited to Red Bull for this project. Ponzold was brought to Red Bull by the company's CEO and founder, uh, Dietrich Mateschitz, and um, that was in 2003. Ever since then, he's been at this facility. You can read more about this in the Daily News. We'll be expanding on, on this. We've uh, spent a lot of time researching uh, Dr. Ponzold and his background. It's raised a lot of interesting issues around here, and we're going to follow up with more stories.